Hey guys, Mike of the Great Outdoors. I picked up a new camp stove that I'd like to review with you guys. So, uh, went on a uh, trip to, to Iceland and was really uh, uh, playing around with these there. They, uh, they're they really nice little stoves. I'm going to open up the case. But this one comes in a very nice hard case. Uh, seems to be pretty sturdy. We'll get it opened up and we'll get this thing set up and show you how it works. It is the Spark Plus Camp Stove by Eureka. This thing's a pretty cool little stove. It is a butane stove, not a propane stove. I want to get into that first about what's the difference between the butane and the propane. Here we got the two bottles uh, side by side, butane on the left and propane on the right. The, the major differences between these is the uh, butane uh, can burn 12% longer uh, for, for per energy, for the energy of the bottle compared to the propane. So that's why the bottle is a little bit smaller. Uh, one of the drawbacks is the butane can uh, only burn well down to about 30 degrees where the propane can go down way, way below that. So, but there's a size difference in the bottles and there's also cost difference. The butane is slightly cheaper than the propane. So it's super easy to put these canisters in, a lot uh, easier than the old propane bottles. You just open up this cover. Of course, you take off the top for the propane. There is a line on here with an arrow that shows you how to line it up. And you line that arrow up with this little lock right here. And so all you do is set it in like that. Just lay it down there. You don't have to press it in or anything. It's laid. There's also a notch at the top of this can right here that this little lever falls into, right? You cover, you close the cover on it, and that's it. It's in. Um, the only other thing you have to do is this lever. It engages the bottle to the valve here. And let me open this back up, and I'll show you. I'm going to release it, and I'll show you what it does when I pull down on the lever. It, it pulls the bottle forward. There we go. So we're ready to go. And to light it, all you have to do is turn, push this knob in to the, and turn it to the left, and it's lit. It's that easy. It's that quick. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. And then when you're done cooking, instead of having to take the bottle out all the time, you don't want to leave the bottle engaged with this valve all the time. So you just either... Click this to the right and it releases the bottle inside here. And I'll show you one time. When I click it to the right, you do it that way too. So when you're done cooking, you disengage the bottle and you go about your thing and then you're ready to cook the next day or next meal. Push down on it, light it, and you're good to go. Now this is a 11,500 BTU stove. It does hold a 13-inch pan. Let me show you that real quick. So... That's the pan, fits on there nicely. Now you don't want to get one that really goes over the side. 13 is probably about the biggest you want to go. You might be able to go slightly bigger, but it's got these nice uh, feet that really hold the pan securely. It feels very safe and very secure on there. Um, this would be a great outdoor stove. Uh, obviously I'm not outdoors right now, I'm inside an RV. Um, but this is a great little stove. If I would have seen uh, these a long time ago, I probably would have gotten one because uh, I was still using this guy right here. So this has seen its better days, and I probably will never use it again. So, But if you compare it, look at the size. That thing is a monster. Yeah, it has two burners, and but the size of it is just huge. Um, but these also have the old uh, sides around it, so for grease and stuff. That would be the only thing you'd have to watch out if you're cooking uh, eggs and stuff like that, uh, splattering grease and stuff like that. You just have to be careful. But you also could use the container in the back and just kind of stand it up to stop stopping the grease from flying around if you wanted to. One other thing it has is adjustable feet. So underneath, I lift this up. These feet, let's see if I can get a better shot of it. They're adjustable. You can make it level. I believe it's only on two sides. Yeah, it's only on the two sides on the left hand end of it. You can adjust it to make it level. So if your rig is on level or if you're on a table that's a little bit on level and you want to kind of compensate for that, you can do that. 
So that was my quick five minute video on the Eureka Spark Plus Camp Stove. Um, go out and get one. They are solid built. And they're really nice. And also, this top comes off too. So if you want to clean it up, you can take this uh, take this apart and really clean it. You can probably throw that in the dishwasher if you wanted to. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more uh, unusual videos. I got one coming up on a, a solar generator here pretty soon. So please like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for watching.